Okay, so we got breaking news today on Tesla's rival, Xping, um, basically in China. Um, their first mass-produced uh, fully autonomous um, driving technology um, has been approved. And, you know, there's already estimates and forecasts for this stock to just increase. But this just kind of like put the stamp on it. Um the FSD for Tesla has not been approved in China, and that's kind of where I see this thing. Uh, it's lucrative. It's it's going to have incoming income uh, consistently um, since they've got approval. They're not just going to have it. You know, they're probably going to even. I've heard Tesla selling their technology or helping with their technology. I can see this happening with Xping as well. Um, it's been slow and consistent, but it's also not a huge risk to me because even as it's dropped in the past year. Um, it's done just as the market's gone. So especially where we're at in a bear market currently, um, if you're looking to get stocks at a cheaper price, um, especially with the news drop today, it, this is one of the biggest catalysts I've seen for this stock in quite a while. Um, we can break down here, actually, if we get myself in the frame. If you look just in the past, what's, we were running off Outlook of five. Just the past year, I mean, there's times where it's hit its peak, but and it's just this has just gone down, and it's more so yes within general of um, uncertainty, but also the whole market's down. The whole market has done this. It's been oh, we have some good news, and it's still bad. We have some good news. So in general, this price lowest it's been, even if you did invest a hundred dollars or a hundred shares, my bad, this is where you'd be at couple dollars here I mean their market value is to the point where this doesn't really align right to have you know a six dollar share when you do the math so even estimates and you're seeing forecast <clears throat> this Xping versus Tesla it's not so much nearly uh, you know who's better but it's the approval and since one's got the you know head start um, I can see that kind of uh, being more of a just to be honest with the positive choice to pick, um, you're going to see better guidance, better outlooks, better estimates, better results from somebody who's already got their approval and, you know, income revenue coming in since they're allowed to use their full product. Um, so just in general, never, you know, going to say how much to put in, but I mean, I would watch, we just did have recent news in China as well. So stocks are falling. Um, they fell before the bell easily up to 6%. And I saw a lot of movement uh, with the RSI when people were kind of jumped the gun when the RSI was low and then it still dropped again when the full bell. But they, they want to let this news process and that's what I would do. Um, give it a little second to calm down and wait to see a couple more buys so you know you've reached that bottom. Um, but just in general, quick news, saw this, it's breaking. Um, it's good news. And a lot of times you see even sell on good news. Give it a second to, you know, iron itself out and then this is something like it's like in the future not even you know a year outlook i can see being way more than this six dollar share price